welcome to the pre-waste web webinar for USA Triathlon's Collegiate Club National Championships to be held in Tempe, Arizona on April 5th and 6th. My name is Brian D'Amico, the Director of Events at USA Triathlon, and I will be the Race Director for the event. As we go through this webinar, it will hit on top-line items as well as specific details to make sure you have a successful race in the, in the coming week. First and foremost, I did want to touch upon the National Events app. Uh, basically, this app allows you to have a wealth of tools at your fingertips via your smartphone or mobile device. Um, in the next slide, we will touch upon all the intricacies of the set app, um, as well as the features that it provides to you, families, friends, um, and those that are not on site or at the race with you. This is available both on the Apple App Store as well as the Android app on Google Play. Main app features, including tracking yourself and other participants. You may register for race updates for both yourself or athletes that you wish to follow. So this is especially handy for not only your team members, uh, but also your clubs um, that are representing you at the race, your coaches, as well as family and friends that aren't able to be at the race with you. Additionally, you can apply to be included on push notifications, um, as well as mobile pushes to both Facebook and Twitter. Um, you can then view the estimated location of the athlete on course. Um, please note that this is simply an estimation based off of the athlete's estimated pace upon crossing each designated timing mat within the course. Lastly, um, you can view the overall race results. Just very important to note that these are unofficial results as well as, well as the current race leaderboard. For Thursday, April 4th, schedule events. This is strictly for draft legal athletes only. A 5 p.m. mandatory briefing at the Sun Devil Fitness Complex in the Maroon Gym. From 5.45 to 6.30 p.m. is packet pickup only for draft legal. Um, please note that you must attend the briefing prior to picking up your packet. Upon entry to the Sun Devil Fitness Complex front doors, you're going to take immediate right, and then the Maroon Gym will be straight ahead of you on the first floor of the Sun Devil Fitness Complex. Please make sure you have your photo ID, and parking is available either in the Apache or Rural Road garages. Friday, April 5th is the first day of racing, so without going through the entire schedule, I'll just hit on the top line or key points. Men's draft legal start will be at 8.15. Women's draft legal start will be at 10 o'clock a.m. For men, transition will be open from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock a.m. And for women, transition will be open from 9 a.m. to 9.50 a.m. Upon conclusion of the race, between 11 o'clock a.m. and 11.50 a.m. will be draft legal bike checkout. And then the course will close in its entirety for the draft legal women at 11.30 a.m. Shifting to later in the day on Friday, at 1.30 p.m. will be the Collegiate National Coaches and Captains Rules Briefing. Please note that this is mandatory for coaches and captains, as well as this being followed by the Collegiate Mixed Team Relay Briefing, which is also mandatory for those athletes. Both of these will be held in the Tempe Center for the Arts in the studio room. From 2.45 to 3.15 p.m. will be open swim for women only, and from 3.15 to 3.45 p.m. will be open swim for men only. This is extremely important. This is a change from prior years, but all athletes participating in the open swim between 2.45 and 3.15 and 3.15 to 3.45 p.m. must have picked up their packet. They must wear their assigned timing chip and the assigned swim cap that they've been issued during swim warm-up. This is extremely vital for athlete accountability and athlete safety. Know that you will not be assigned a new chip, nor should you turn in your chip upon completion of the open swim. No athletes will be permitted in the water, one without their timing chip, and two without their assigned cap. Saturday, April 6th, so this marks the, the start of the Olympic distance race and the MTR following later in the day. TA will be open from 5.30 a.m. to 7.25 a.m. Expo will also be open from 7 o'clock a.m. until 5 p.m. There will be five men's ways with the first beginning at 7.30 a.m. A paratriathlete open wave start at 9.30 a.m and four women's waves beginning at 10.20 a.m. Listed here, you'll find the bike cutoff and swim cutoff times as well. Upon completion of the race, bike checkout will begin at 2.10 p.m. once the bike course is clear, with a full course closure at 3.10 p.m. The MCR substitution cutoff will be at 3.10 p.m., and I will touch upon the location where substitutions may be made later in the presentation. MCRTA will be open from 3.10 p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m., with a mixed team relay start time at 4.15 p.m. Please note that if you're participating in the mixed team relay, the order of athletes will be male, female, male, female. Mixed team relay is estimated to end around 5.45 p.m. and then the award ceremony taking place at Tempe Marketplace from 8 o'clock p.m. to 9.30 p.m. 
Olympic Distance and PC Open and MCR Packet Pickup will be held on site on Friday, April 5th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Tempe Beach Park within our registration tent. All the timing chips we're utilizing are the MyLabs Pro Chip. Um, therefore, these are not disposable chips. So these chips are your responsibility upon being designated as chip during packet pickup. Uh, it's your responsibility to make sure you wear those during the race. It's my recommendation to always race morning, getting up early. Um, it may be beneficial to put that timing chip on before you go to bed, just so it's one less thing. You have to worry about it race morning. They must be returned after your completion of each race and they are not disposable. If you are participating in multiple races, you will receive a separate chip for each race. In the event you're participating in multiple races, your chip will be numbered with that specific chip corresponding to your designated bib, bib number for that specific race. Chips for all races except MTR will be pre-stuffed into your individual race packets. For the mixed team relay, chip will be distributed upon check-in to transition area before the race. So once you're checking into TA for MTR, please make sure you're checking in with all four team members um, in the check-in location to get into TA. Your chips will be issued then and there um, rather than getting them in advance during packet pickup. Team tents, so from April 4th to April 6th, uh, please note that team tents will be set up on concrete, so teams must bring weights for their tents. Uh, we highly, highly recommend that Upon the completion of each day, once your tent is set up, to please lower your tent. Uh, we cannot be held liable for your tent. So please take that into consideration upon setting up your tents. Um, additionally, we've had some problems in the past as far as trash being left. Um, it would be very grateful from both our end and the city of Tempe's end. Uh, there'll be countless trash, trash receptacles around the venue to please clean up your area and your designated space where your team tent is located. Parking, please note there's no parking within Tempe Beach Park grounds and athletes are encouraged to walk or ride to the venue. Listed on this map are five different locations. Uh, the first is the Fifth and Farmer lot. The second is the Hayden Square West service lot. The third is the Ash Street parking garage. The fourth is the Hayden Ferry Lakeside parking garage. And the fifth is the Marina Heights parking garage. In the bottom right hand corner of this map, you'll note specifics as it pertains to each lot. As touched upon, the non-drafting and coaches and captains rules briefing will be Friday, April 5th at 1.30 p.m. Uh, our head referee, Mike, will lead this briefing. This will be in the Tempe Center for the Arts in the studio room. So this is directly west of the Olympic distance transition area in the large grass, grassy area on Tempe Center for the Arts ground. Important to know that there's no bikes or bike shoes permitted being worn inside the facility. So please make accommodations to leave those at your team tent or a secure area to make sure um, we follow and abide to their guidelines. Looking at the venue, so on the far west of this map is Olympic Distance TA in a large grassy field. Draft Legal High School and Mixed Team Relay is in the Tempe Beach Park upper parking lot, um, which is located in the central portion of the map. The finish is located where you find the white mouse arrow. To the west of that is the medical tent. Moving south, tent number one is the post-race food tent. Tent number two is the registration and packet pickup tent, with the exception of draft legal and high school athletes, which will receive their packets on Thursday's briefings. Tent number three is the volunteer and information tent. Tent number four is the expo area, and tent number five is tri-bike transport. The large area designated by number seven is the team tent area. Body marking and sticker placement, so you'll receive race systems within your race packet. The large sticker with 3,000, that will be wrapped around your seat posts. You'll re you will receive two helmet labels. Those need to be affixed to your helmet. The additional sticker is an item supporting sticker, so you will not have any stickers for your swim caps. All your swim caps will be pre-numbered. Lastly, your bib. Know that your bib will not need to be worn for draft legal events. This only applies to Olympic distance event, and these can either be affixed via safety pins given to you with your race packet or via race belt as shown in the picture. Again, this kind of details as your bike post sticker should be adhered to your bike post. Uh, note that we will not have a bag check sticker, so please disregard this photo. In terms of water temperature, so this is going to be held in Tindy Town Lake. The water temperature is expected to be between 62 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit as the air temperature is expected to rise over the next two weeks. 
On March 20th, the water temperature was holding steady at 60 degrees. Draft legal bike check-in will be Friday, April 5th in TA. This will be in the upper Tempe Beach Park parking lot. This is mandatory for all draft legal athletes with men check-in being from 7 a.m. to 8 o'clock a.m. and women check-in being from 9 o'clock a.m. until 9.50 a.m. You must have your wristband, bike number, and timing chip with you. Men will begin at 8.15 and women will begin at 10 o'clock a.m. Check-in will take place on the east side of transition through a swing gate by the USA Triathlon tent. Very quickly, this is just general details as far as draft legal equipment. We will go much more in depth for the Thursday briefing, but your uniform must cover your torso and meet USAT collegiate uniform rules and that sleeves are not allowed. Your helmet must be undamaged and have the original CPSC or the Consumer Product Safety Commission sticker in place. Only traditional drop handlebars and brake levers are allowed. Arrow bars will may not extend beyond brake levers and must be touching or joined both with solid standard factory bridge. And lastly, wheels must have 12 or more spokes. Disc wheels are not permitted. However, disc brakes are allowed. Draft legal transitions are running through the flow. Upon entering the water, there'll be a set of stairs located where the swim exit is noted on the map. So you will go down the stairs. There's about a one foot ledge underwater that you will walk across to the swim start area. Upon start of the race, once the swim is complete, you will exit via the stairs you entered the water in, a short run into TA, or will transition to your bike where you'll bike out. The bike will move in a clockwise fashion. Upon completion of your two laps on the draft legal bike course, you'll make a left-hand turn. You will ride up to the west side of transition where you'll dismount, noted by the orange line in the notation here. After you dismount, you will then run out, complete the course to the finish. The draft legal swim course is a two lap 750 meter swim. It will be a dive start standing on the ledge in the water and it's a multi lap in water loop. You'll enter the water via the exit stairs, move to your left to the start area, which will be located between two orange cones. Upon the horn blast, the race will start. After completion of the swim, you will exit on the same stairs that you entered the water in. The swim will be a clockwise loop with the buoy on your right side at all times. So note that whether you're swimming around orange buoys or yellow buoys, they must be kept to your right shoulder at all times. On lap one, the turn buoys are yellow. Detailing lap two, which I'll run through on the next slide, um, after rounding the second yellow turn buoy on lap one, your next turn will be a right-handed turn at the first orange buoy, another right-hand turn at the second orange buoy, a right-hand turn at a yellow buoy, and then a final right-hand turn at the yellow buoy, and then a straight shot to the swim exit. Swim warm-up for DL men and DL women will take place prior to your race. So men will be from 7.30 to 8 o'clock a.m., while women will be from 9.15 to 9.45 a.m. Those will be support on water via boat, lifeguards, and kayaks and stand-up paddleboards, and please be at the start no later than 10 minutes for athlete introduction and call-outs. So detailing the DL swim course. So again, you will enter the water via the swim exit stairs. You will move to your west, the swim start area. You will swim north. Your first turn will be at the first yellow buoy. Your second turn at the second yellow buoy. You'll then continue south where your third turn will be at the first orange buoy. Your fourth turn will be at the second orange buoy. Your fifth turn will be at the yellow buoy that you first turned on in the first lap. Another right-hand turn around the, or around the yellow buoy and then a straightaway to the finish line. So in looking at this map, lap one is designated by the solid yellow line following the white mouse. The second lap is designated by the dotted yellow line following the white mouse as well. Once you make your final turn around the yellow buoy, it'll be a straight shot into the finish for the swim exit. The bike course for draft legal is a two lap 21K course. The majority of this course is closed with a full two lanes of riding. There are a couple small areas where the lanes will be condensed to one, and a, one to one and a half lanes in each direction. At the intersection of the 180 in the northbound portion of the course at College Avenue and Marigold Lane, this is a somewhat tight area. Um, upon making the, the 180 degree turn at that intersection at College of Marigold, we will teardrop so you have additional room to make that turn. There's no bottle exchange. USAT officials will be on course with the lead in SAG Moto lapping athletes out, and there will be timing mats on course. 
draft legal bike course. Uh, so as mentioned prior, it will move in a clockwise fashion. So you exit TA, make a left-hand turn onto Rio Salado, a left-hand turn onto South Mill Avenue over the bridge, a right-hand turn onto East Curry Road, left-hand turn onto North College Avenue, 180 degree turn at College of Marigold, continuing back southbound on College Avenue where you make a right-hand turn onto East Curry, then a left-hand turn over the Mill Avenue Bridge, a right-hand turn onto Rio Salado, we will then make a 180 degree turn at the intersection of Rio Salado and West First. As you head back towards transition on lap one, you will be forced to go straight to complete lap two. Once the final athlete on lap one trailed by the SAG Moto completes lap one, the lead athlete on lap two will then be forced into TA. So there should be no discrepancy as to what number of lap athletes are on. You will be forced to go to lap two. Moving from lap one to lap two, and upon completion of lap two, you'll be forced into TA. The draft legal run course will be a two lap 5.1K course. It's a moderately flat course next to Timothytown Lake. You'll stay left to get to lap two, and you will stay right or straight to get to the finish. There will be two aid stations per lap offering water, Gatorade endurance formula, and science and sport gels. Volunteers, medical staff, and police will be on course as well as timing mats for accountability. Upon exiting TA on the southeast corner, you will follow the red path. I'm moving my mouse in the bottom right-hand corner of this slide. You continue under the Mill Avenue Bridge. There'll be a little bit of elevation. You'll hit your first aid station, continuing where you'll hit your second aid station. You'll do, then do a U-turn right before the Scottsdale Road Bridge. You'll then be running on a packed sand and gravel path down Timmy Town Lake Path. Once you reach this location that's magnified, this is where I mentioned that you will stay left to get to your second lap and you will stay straight to get to the finish. At this location, this will already be split for you. There'll be cones, a volunteer and or staff and sign it. So again, if you're on lap one, it'll be your responsibility to stay left, make that 180 to get to lap two. If you are on lap two, it's your responsibility to stay, to stay right or straight to the finish. Olympic distance to PC Open Bike Check-In will be Saturday, April 6th in the Tempe Center for the Arch Green Space. So if you're racing on Friday for draft legal and Saturday for Olympic distance, those are two separate transition areas. This is a mandatory check-in for all athletes and TA will be open from 5.30 a.m. until 7.25 a.m. Please make sure you don't arrive at, at 7.10, 7.15, still trying to get your, your specific area set up in TA. All athletes will have an assigned spot in TA. Please make sure you're early to allow adequate time for you to get set, settled in, calming nerves if you have them, and then making your way over to swim start. You must have your wristband, bike number, and timing chip, as well as swim cap. No bags in transition, so please make sure you leave those at your team tents. There will be bike support provided by the Velo Mobile Bike Shop. TA, the mountain dismount lines will be clearly marked, and bike racks will be individually numbered. You should rack bike your bike by your seat to start the race. So if you're looking at the rack, if you're athlete number 1000, your front wheels should be down facing you. So if you're looking at your rack, your front wheel is down facing you and you can see your number 1000 on the rack facing you as well. Only race essentials are allowed in TA. Bike checkout will begin at approximately 2.10 p.m. and all bikes must be out of TA by 3.15 p.m. with no exceptions. Transition and flow. So to the eastern portion of this map is where swim start will be. You'll exit on a elevated concrete path with a run to swim in. Upon transitioning from swim in to bike out, you will bike out on the west side of TA. You complete your two laps. The dismount line will be located approximately at this location where the white mouse is. After your completion of those two laps, there'll be a short run into TA with your bike, and then you'll exit into run out on the northwest side of transition. The Olympic distance swim course is a one lap, 1500 meter course. It will be an in-water start between two large yellow banana buoys, moving in a rectangular loop. The stair entrance to enter the water and swim out to banana buoys for the start, and then the exit will be on a gradual concrete ramp. The swim will be in a counterclockwise loop with the buoys, the yellow buoys being on your left, left being the turn buoys. The orange round are your sight buoys and you may swim to either side of those. A swim warm-up will be pri offered prior to your wave start, and please be at your wave start 10 minutes before your actual wave is scheduled to begin. 
detail in the Olympic distance swim course. So following the white mouse, this is where the entry stairs will take place. Note that for Saturday Olympic distance, this is only the entry stairs. Your wave will be called, you're crossed under the start timing mat. Your time will not start until the gun blast once all athletes are corralled between the two yellow banana buoys. Upon the horn blast, you'll swim eastbound. You'll then make your first hand turn, left hand turn at the yellow triangular buoy, second left hand turn at the yellow triangular buoy. Once you approach the three orange sight buoys, you may swim to either side of these. The closer you swim to the, those orange buoys, the most direct route and the closest to the 1500 meter swim that you will get. Your then third turn will be at the yellow triangular buoy. The last yellow triangular buoy will be right at the swim exit. So that will give you a really good sighting tool to sight off of once you make that left hand turn. The bike course will be a two lap 41K course. The course is closed to vehicular traffic. There will be some areas on the course where we're tapered down to one lane for riding with the cars delineated by a heavy set of cones on the outer side. Please use caution at the 180 degree turn at the intersection of North College and Miracle Lane. There'll be no bottle exchange on the course. USAT officials will be on course via motorcycles and athletes are responsible for counting those, their own laps with timing mats on the course. So detailing the Olympic distance bike course. So you'll exit T on the west side. This will move in a counterclockwise fashion. You'll make a right-hand turn onto Rio Salado. You'll then make a right-hand turn onto pre-strive. So outbound cyclist traffic will be, upon making the right-hand turn on the pre-strive, will be in the lane closest to the curb. You'll then make a right-hand turn onto frontage road. Then a left-hand turn onto North Center Parkway. When you make this left-hand turn into North Center Parkway, you will be riding on the far left side of the road then a left-hand turn onto West Washington Street. When you make this left-hand turn onto West Washington Street, you'll be riding in the southbound lanes. Um, so you will not be crossing over into the westbound lanes of West Washington. You'll be on the southernmost lanes or the eastbound lanes of West Washington Street. You'll then make a left-hand turn onto North Priest Drive. When you make the left-hand turn onto North Priest Drive, you will be moving in northbound priest drive lanes, but you will be in the center lane and we will cone you directly into that center lane. You'll continue southbound on North Priest Drive where you'll make, then make a left-hand turn onto eastbound Rio Salado Parkway. Continuing down Rio Sal Salado Parkway, as you get to the intersection of Rio Salado and Mill Avenue, you will be tapered into the center median lane where you continue down East Rio Salado, making the 180 degree turn just prior to South McClintock then headed back westbound down Rio Salado, where again, athletes will be in the center median lane. A right-hand turn onto North Mill Avenue, where you'll be closest to the center median as well. A right-hand turn onto East Curry. Again, athletes maintaining the center median lane, whether they make a left-hand turn onto North College Avenue. Making the 180-degree turn at North College and Marigold Lane, and then a right-hand turn onto westbound Curry Road, and then a left-hand turn onto Mill Avenue. As you approach this area where it's noted straight to lap two, this will be delineated by cones. So staying straight to lap two, you will stay to your left. Upon com completion of lap two, you will dismount and have a short run into TA with your bike. The run course is a one lap 10K run course with areas of rolling and flat on road, sidewalk, and packed gravel and sand. There'll be seven aid stations with water, Gatorade, endurance formula, and science and sport gels with volunteers, medical, staff, and police on course, as well as timing mats. Detailing the run course. So you'll exit T on the west side, you'll cross over the pedestrian bridge where you'll then be on the Timmy Town Lake North Bank path. Continuing down that path through the marina parking lot, it'll be an out and back pigtail. You'll hit another aid station, back through and back on the path. You'll then get onto Lakeview Drive. Uh, this is highlighted in the map here. So you go under the Mill Avenue Bridge, make a 180 under the Mill Avenue Bridge, and then up. At this location, following the white mask, the white mouse, you will be on the sidewalk that's on East Curry, then a left-hand turn on the Mill Avenue sidewalk all the way across the Mill Avenue sidewalk bridge, another 180 where you hit another aid station, then you're on Timmy Town Lake path here, kind of rolling through the undulations there, a 180 hitting your last aid station. Upon completion of that 180, you'll then be on the Timmy Town Lake path, which is the crushed gravel and sand, and then a straightaway into the finish. PC Open, exact same transition and flow as Olympic distance. PC Open swim course, the one-off for the PC Open swim course is that it will be a 750-meter swim. 
So we will start you next to the band of buoys. You'll swim immediately north. Your first left-hand turn will be around the orange round buoy, and then continuing westbound, where you'll pass another orange buoy, which you may swim to either side of, and then one final turn prior to exiting the water. Bike course will be the exact same bike course, with the exception that you'll just be completing one lap versus two, and the run course will be a one lap 10K course, same as Olympic distance. Mixed Team Relay Briefing will be held on Friday, April 5th at 2.15 p.m. at the Tempe Center for the Arts Studio Room. Again, no bikes or bike shoes are permitted. Substitution cutoff is at 3.10 p.m. and this be done, must be done to the east side of transition under the small pavilion. TA will be open from 3.10 to 4 o'clock p.m. on race day and timing chips will be handed out to your entire team of four upon check-in to TA. Final instructions will be given at swim start as well as the tag zone area at 4.05 p.m with a relay beginning at 4.15. Teams will consist of four team members with two men and two women in the order of male-female, male-female. Mixed team relay transition, so this lays out exactly as draft legal transition was laid out. I won't go through this all again. The one important part to note is where the tag zone area is located. So once athlete has completed their swim, bike, and are approaching the finish line of the run, it must be a physical tag that athlete one makes to athlete two, athlete two makes to athlete three, and athlete three makes to athlete four. Note that the team times will not be a summation of athletes one time plus athletes two time plus athletes three time plus athlete four time. The total team time will be from the gun start from athlete one until the finish time of athlete four crossing the finish line. The swim course for mixed team relay, athlete one will athlete one for each team will enter the water via the swim exit stairs. Athletes will be called down. They will go down the swim exit stairs, which are also the swim entry stairs for mixed team relay. Same protocol as draft legal. They'll then move to the left to the swim start area. It will be a gun start. Athlete one will swim around the first yellow triangular buoy. Always stay on the right shoulder. Second triangular buoy, and then a straightaway into the finish. Athletes two, three, and four will be staged in the tag zone area. Again, a physical tag must take place. They will run slowly down the decline path where it'll be a, a running dive into the water. Athletes will swim around the buoy noted on this map. So this, those athletes for two, three, and four will swim around the second turn buoy that athlete one swam around. For athletes two, three, and four, the first buoy that athlete one swam around will be removed from the water. So there should be no confusion. So athletes one will have two turns, one right-hand turn around the first yellow buoy, one right-hand turn around the second buoy. Athletes two, three, and four will only have one yellow triangular buoy to make their left-hand turn. Mixed team relay bike, again, moving in a clockwise fashion, they'll exit TA, where they'll make a left-hand turn onto Rio Salado, a left-hand turn on Mill Avenue. They will navigate around East Lakeview Drive, make a left-hand turn onto East Curry, a left-hand turn onto Mill Avenue, a right-hand turn onto Rio Salado, down, and they'll make a 180 at the intersection of Rio Salado and Tempe Center for the Arts Drive, and then they will be forced into TA as it is a one-lap mixed team relay 5K course. MCR run, again, same exit point in the southeast corner of TA as draft legal. This will be heavily coned and barricade. It's a one-lap out and back, doing the 180 where you hit your first and only aid station, and then straight away into the finish. Prior to crossing the finish line, there will be an MTR tag zone on your right side. We will have a sound system at this location letting athletes know which team is coming up for the tag. If, you're at, if athlete one is on the course, we will keep athletes three and four within the tag zone area, however, back from where the, tag, the physical tag will actually happen. Eight stations will be every mile to mile and a half on the run course, offering Gatorade endurance formula, science and sport gels, as well as water and ice. Finish line will offer the same thing in terms of water and Gatorade endurance, medical support. All athletes will receive a finisher medal for draft legal and Olympic distance event. A post-race food area upon crossing the finish line, line will be immediately to your left and the penalties will also be posted. Award ceremony will take place and we encourage all athletes to attend at Tempe Marketplace Saturday, April 6th from 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. There will be numerous awards as well as prize money for overall combined and mixed team relay. If you have not already done so, please make sure you get your eligibility forms in, and these are due immediately to clubs at usatrophon.org. 
So all USA Triathlon National Championship competitors are responsible for training and competing clean in accordance with the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency or USADA regulations. Athletes may be drug tested at this event. Should drug testing occur, there are strict protocols that must be followed and athletes must follow the directions of on-site USADA representatives and USA Triathlon staff members. More information about drug testing, including a list of banned substances, is available at usatriathlon.org backslash anti-doping. Athletes will receive USADA's 2019 Anti-Doping Pocket Guide in your goodie bag for this event, so please keep this as a reference tool throughout your season so you can check effectively your medications, obtain a therapeutic use exemption or a TUE if needed, and choose low-risk supplements. In order to provide our athletes, both age group and elite, with a safe embedded supplement option, USA Triathlon partners with Thorne Research as its official supplement provider. To learn more about Thorne's best-in-class efficacy and commitment to clean sport, please visit usa-triathlon.thorne.com. Lastly, we want to thank our partners, travel partners, and suppliers for their support of USA Triathlon as the national federation and governing body of the sport of triathlon within the United States. Through your annual membership, you do receive a variety of discounts through these said partners. So please make sure you take advantage of those discounts and offers that they graciously offer to all of our annual members. If you do have questions, please feel free to send those to national events at usatriathlon.org. And that concludes the webinar. So please, safe travels down to Tempe. We're looking forward to a great, safe race, and we'll see you soon.